More on YouTube, Dunburn Fashion here. Um, today, I'm going to pull the fuel tank out of this ram. For the last maybe 12 months, maybe more, it's been on and off. Um, sometimes it starts, it'll cough and splutter, carry on, blah, 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 blah. then you turn the key off, it'll run, or it picks itself up and clears itself. So I figured I've got to pull the tank out. I'm always getting water in the fuel from where I go, where I get fuel from. And the last couple of years, we've been, after the wet seasons, we've been down through, what through the guts of Australia, um, getting fuel out of all sorts of bowsers and all sorts of places up after the wet season in the Northern Territory. We get wet seasons where we live and you get a lot of moisture in the fuel, I'm assuming. And I think I got water in the tank. I think, I don't know. Um, I'm assuming it would be because I've got water in my boat and fair chance I've probably got water in this and where I fill up out of like I just explained um, I'm gonna bet that I've got shit in the tank and probably a fair bit of it. Now it's got a drum, this has got a 205 litre long ranger uh, steel tank which was fitted by ARB and ever since I've had the tank put in on the very day I picked up the tank um, and they fitted it for me from ARB I had the engine light on from the very day, took it back to ARB. They keep saying take it back to Ram. Ram saying take it back to ARB. The usual dealership shit fight. So I just said fuck is all and I just left it. The car was still running fine and I've just put up with it. When you plug the computer onto it, it's saying there was an EVAP leak, a small a small EVAP leak. I've got the code, a small EVAP leak, which I'm thinking that's just probably something to do with the clamping. So it, now, these rams are always a, a shit show to fill up and then since I put the canopy on with the way the thing goes down through a hose, it's, it's a shit show to fill up. So I just figured it was something, I changed the breathers around which then brought a fuel cap light on. Um, so I put that back to how that was. Then I put the other sensor back on which I put that back to atmosphere. That said there was a bigger fuel leak, um, kept bringing the code up so I changed that. So now I've gone back to how it was and I put the breather um, they come off the tank here at the filler point just up where it goes from where we fit the canopy Which is exactly how it is from factory still get the engine light on I clear it sometimes it lasts three weeks. It goes off sometimes it comes back within three minutes So I've just ignored it and then uh, When me and Ryan were on the trip it started running rough. We had a bit of surging on the road I kept going through to the territory. It was fine ever since give a couple of cute coughs and splutters and now it's more regularly and regularly and regularly and I'm believing that it's going to fail and I'm going to get caught out with it. It's time to fix it and it's just a bit of a matter of time. It's a bit of, it looks like it's going to be a proper shit show job. I remember when ARB fitted it, they were all just whinging how hard it was to fit. They reckon it was a proper shit show to fit. So I've been not looking forward to it, but today I'm pulling it on. And I figured um, that when I pull the tank out to check the fuel pump out, I've read online that a few of them have shit themselves. So I've found a few second-hand filters, I found some new filters online. A new filter's like 250 bucks, a new fuel pump, and that to me seems like proper shit. So I went down the route of, route route, whatever you want to call it, of buying a aftermarket, no, a genuine RAM filter, uh, pump housing assembly for this car, but had 19,000 Ks on it. So I figured they'd be more reliable than some $200 Chinese piece of shit so here it is here this is a genuine ram 1500 mopar part now when you look down in there see how there's a strainer it's a strainer in the thing these rams have no fuel filter i rang ram because i i used to get ram to service it i always service my own cars but this thing was like under this thing's under a lease so i'll get ram to service it um it's out of warranty now and I ain't taking it back up to Ram anymore to deal with it. Just for them to tell me they got some other bullshit excuse um, to say that they couldn't do it on the day. Because every time I take it there and to ask them about it, I book it in to do the job, but they never had enough time. So I'm over that shit, and I want time to do it myself. So looking in here, there's a strainer or some sort of gauzy type filter in there. Obviously, the strain possibly, um, I think, water and trash out. But, have a look at this. So I'm assuming that's, that's where it picks up the fuel, through this one-way diaphragm valve. 
So this sits in the tank. Picture you got shit in your tank. That picks that up into that one-way diaphragm valve thing there. Fills this little canister. So actually there's no way fuel can get out any other way. Fills this sh shit end up being full of shit. And once it's full of shit, it can't get out of there. It's full, full to the top. Obviously more fuel goes in, but um, as it sucks it up through that pump, through there into that, I'm assuming it goes into this void first, into this hulls, into this canister thing, then it picks up from there. So there's no way for it to get out. And I, I'm not gonna pull this one out to have a look at it. I'm not gonna touch this one, I bought it. Just gonna put it as an assembly, but I'm assuming this is what's happening to mine. I don't know for a fact. When we pull it out, I'm going to find out how much shit's in there, if there's any at all. Hopefully it's the problem. And I'm just going to replace, because when I put it onto the... Matty! Yeah? What was that code come up? That about the fuel... Fuel pump performance... Uh, fuel pump performance... Out of, out of um, calibra... Um, out, of, out of range. Yeah, fuel pump performance out of range. That's what was coming up when you... Says it's been running like a dog. Um, it's been coming up as, still got the evap leak, but it's been coming up as fuel pump performance out of range. So, assuming that it's trying to either suck fuel or it's the pump starving for fuel or or it's, um, and then it, when you start it, it runs rough, doesn't do it every time, only every now and then. And then when every now and then it runs, it coughs, it actually stalls. And then when you start the car again, it'll run fine. Um, and you can also smell a bit of a rich fuel smell. And apparently when you Google the shit out of this, it's um, when it gets a performance issue on the pump, it ramps the pump up to full pressure. Don't know much about it, only internet talk. Anyway, I'll post this video before we start. We'll pull the tank out, see what sort of trouble we have there. We'll see what we find on the end of this. So I'll attach it into this picture and we'll go through that with that. All right. Yeah, so we've got the pump out and it doesn't appear to be like a lot of shit what I thought though. Filter is a bit grubby in there. Is it brown looking? But I wouldn't say it's overly sludged up. No water at all. So the water seems non existent. Very clean in there. Tank. And it's originally where we drained the lip. Got a bit of dirt. A fair bit of dirt out of the bottom. A fair bit of dirt out of the tank, but no water. That's like chunky, rusty type shit. Like um, steel, steel flaky shit. Out of somewhere. Maybe got someone, get a bowels or somewhere with a bit of rust in it. Who knows? But um, yeah, no visible water. So maybe just the pump is failing and clean. So I'm gonna see if we can have a look at this gauze in here. See if we can pull it out and check it out. Because the pump I got is the same one. So, yeah, maybe it is just starting to fail up or it did have a gut full of something. Here's the tank, 205 litre tank. That's a big unit. Yeah, pretty heavy. So I'm just going to drain everything out just to make sure it's all out. Apparently these things stuff up. They just turn and clip in these things somehow. See on the YouTube, they do that. Probably should have bought one while I had there, but I can get access to that. And this is like some sort of canister thing. I'll check all that out. Check all the fittings out. Hmm. It was a bit of a shit show to get out, but it's out and got a bit of dirt out of it, just to be sure. Hopefully the pump is the issue. Why well, it's doing a bit of the trouble starting every now and then. Put the other one in, so. Anyway, we'll get it back in. Hopefully, we'll um, see if it's a problem here, but it's not an easy job. Not at all. Not at all. Very heavy and awkward. So, And the bung I found, the bung was actually a bit loose in the bottom, so lucky I didn't lose that. So I said it had a bit of a uh, residue around it, but it was actually loose, so... Pleased I found that. That would not be good driving on a corrugated road and that come out. Notice the fuel gauge is dropping quick, so would have had spare fuel, but and something to find it, but just the loss of 200 litres of fuel or however much 100 litres something would have been a shit so firing in the back of your car with exhaust and batteries and shit, so yeah, anyway.
All right then, see if we can get to the bottom of this starting issue. Is this a shit show, Will? Yeah, too much. <laughs> can we go forward a little bit? This is a shit show, this team. <laughs> if it got the money, drop it into someone else. Oh, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. What do you reckon, Ryan? Oh, fuck. Oh. Hang on, mate. Burn the thing. <laughs> Shut it to someone else. That'll deal with it. Can't remember. Really committed. Oh. There you go. That's the thing. So, yeah. that fuel line's on the other side now. Hopefully, it's just the bugger fuel pump. So, um, you've got to go up now. Just stopping that. All go that gauze, that gauze on it's blocked full of shit. We're out half a bottle. And uh, yeah, it's just starting to feel when we. Um, Start because once it starts and it turns back off, it starts in perfectly. It run, and it runs perfectly the rest of the time. So Hang on, I think just a starting up part. Look, look on the internet. There's heaps of different stories on it, but and when it said the value of the pump, so I figured it's the pump. So uh, seven six hundred dollars for the pump, second hand, not cheap for a second hand. Uh, Two thousand dollars from Ram for a new one. Yeah. 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 Well, you're moving in a bit there. Ah, can't go up. It's got to go forward. Just a, if only just a little bit. Just a bit hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me under these bolts. All right, this end we'll see how we go. Well, um, put the uh, the fuel pump in, and uh, after review, there was only a bit of like dirty shit in the tank, a bit of rusty looking shit. But it wasn't no water or anything. Um, the filter did look pretty choked up on the other one. So where the gunk and shit was in it, I'm not sure. But the new pump seems to be cut. Only just went for a bit of a drive, 40 k's out to the local river for a swim. Filled the car up, uh, the engine light's still on. So I'm just gonna disconnect the battery now and give it a reset and see if that, um, see if that goes away or it's still on there about some evac problem and yeah so but on that it seems to be starting pretty good now so um yeah it seems to be starting a bit better but like i said it was only ever intermittent it was never full-time problem it's only every now and then but just cough and splutter sometimes it start for three weeks not a mess and sometimes i do it twice in a week so uh hopefully this is what it was it seems to be starting faster like boom boom so like winding over a little bit so hopefully that's uh the problem was a hopefully it was a, it was just a dicky fuel pump which seems to be a bit of an issue with them if you start googling them anyway so hopefully that gives me no more trouble and we'll go from there all right thanks for watching